Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to create a referral system which is an add-on to the login system using PHP. So this is the website we've been working on in my last videos. So if you watch them you'll see how we've got to this, this point here. How to create a login system in PHP for beginners. Well I'm going to add a referral form element here which allows a user coming to the site to register to input a referral ID. So we'll get started now and we'll create this to show you how you can do this. So firstly, you want to go to your website. We're we'll going to edit the index page. If you followed my last videos, you'll be see you'll see how I got here and all these files, how we how we have them already. So please check the other videos. So if we fire up the page, right, this is the register form and this was the login. So we're going to put another field in here. And we call it referrer. Referrer. And we call it refer. We save the website. And hit enter. There you go. Now we've got a referrer field written in here so when they register they can actually put this in as well and register and then the referrer can get a credit of some sort so we need to make this happen in the database as well so we we'll go to our C panel which you've seen in the other videos use this link PHP my admin to access your database and we go here and this is the users table. So you can see I've got all these testing ones that I had in there before. If we go to structure, see it's only got ID, username and password. So we're going to add a field, add a, a column after password. I'm going to call it refer. And we're going to make that. Uh, we're going to stick it, call it a Vichar, we call it, yeah, Vichar 50 and save. Let's go browse. Now, none of these have got referrers because these ones, when they registered, they didn't actually have a referrer. So we need to make that script work now. So what we do is when you register in the system inside you want to give each user a referral link that they can give to other people to register so if we just register write it out in here call it um, test user and we'll use that as the password as well Test user, test user. I haven't got a referrer, so I'm just going to register. We've registered, the membership eye is there. So now we're logging with them details. You have successfully logged in. in. Welcome, test user. test user. You have successfully logged in. So here we can put a, a referral link which this user can give to people to, to get the credit. So I'll show you how to do that now. So you want to edit this file called loggedin.php and you can see how we create that file in the last video. So you go here, loggedin.php and we've got the username session. So we can do it, we could do it by the username or we could write a little query to give them an, their membership ID. So, for the sake of the video, we can do it with the username. Right, so you have successfully logged in. So, what a little bit of code here. Here is your own referral link. I hit PR, and then we'll crack the link. Dot code test.co.uk forward slash 
um, index.php question mark. If uh, equals, put this in here. If uh, equals the username, and again, we'll put some line breaks after it. And save, enter. Right, so if we refresh the page, now I'm logged in. It says, here is your own referral link. Cotest.co.uk forward slash index.php question mark refer equals test user. Because that's my username that I created up here. You can do it another way. You can give them an ID. And if you'd like me to do it that way, please comment below and I can create a new video showing you how to make the referrer an ID as opposed to a username. Just going to close this up a little bit because it don't actually look that, that neat. I'm going to take them away. Too many, a bit too many line breaks in there. I think there might be some more. So it to look a, a little bit neater and what I'll do is I'll make it bold so it stands out to the user. So we make it bold like that. There you go. So there's a referral link. So this user can give this link to anyone and they'll be able to register using that link. So now we need to test that by putting it in the URL at the top. So if I log out, I'll put this in notepad file. So I've actually got the details. Test user was the past as well. Password. So I've got the details of the referrer, so we don't need to be in here right now. You can you can at a later date add some stats. So this user would be to see see how many people he's referred and what who has um he referred and list them here. I can create another video showing you how to do that. Please comment below if you'd like to see that video and subscribe to my channel. So we log out, hit back, and we'll paste that in the address bar, what I just bring it, copied. And there you go. We've got the index.php question mark referrer equals test user, but that's no good because they could put anything in here. So what we want to do now is we want to make sure that this is filled in based off this URL. So we'll do that now for you. And we go to the index page and we need to add a value called, I'm going to call it, put it right on the end there. So you can read it easier. And we're going to put a little PHP echo statement in there. And we're going to call it refer. So that will that will add the referrer into the the referrer form. But firstly, you have to connect to your database. So we need to get our connection code wherever it is. It'll be in one of these one of these files. So we'll, we'll click on the register one. There you go. We'll get a connection get a connection code because you need to put this up the top as well. So we'll put that there. So we're connected to the database. Then we're going to use a MySQL My real escape string to get the referrer. And we'll put this at the top. This all has to go underneath your connection code because otherwise it won't connect. The connection code always goes above. Change this section here to a get because we're getting the referrer from the address bar all get get statements get it from the address bar post get it from a form if you need any help with that please comment below so we'll put that there and we're getting the refer and we'll give it a little variable called refer so we're getting the referrer which is this and that's right there we're naming it to refer, then we're echoing it out in the form down here. So if we save that to website and refresh the page. So we 
right click refresh page oh i've got an error and so now i need to fix that error go ah missing a bit of code there that could be the cause of the error nope okay dollar repair sometimes some things can appear um and really get your brain going so get referral so sometimes yeah you can get little bugs and, and little things and they can really irritate you so I, I looked at my error log and i had a little question mark and it was just just to hear causing the problem i don't quite understand what it was or Sometimes your brain just ain't right with it, but anyway, I've tested it and this works. So I'll paste that in there. And it is value equals dollar refer. So I'll save to website and we refresh the page. We refresh the page, and there you go. You've got referrer as test user, which is from here. So you've got a link at the top saying test user that's their referral URL and then that's displayed there so now what we need to do is make sure when they register an account that this referrer actually gets added so we need to check that so register so we'll look at the register file so what we want to do is we want to add some extra options in because before we was only taking the username and password so we're going to add in referrer refer and put that in there refer because on the index file that's the name of it as refer so when they register that will be called test user at the moment so then we need to insert it into the users table so we need to add another one of these on here called refer and another variable here which we'll put in as dollar refer php always use dollar for the variables and that will basically insert it into insert into the database so we save to website So the user test user give it as link to someone, someone's clicked it and they've come back to this page and using the, the link they've may have posted it on a forum, a Discord, a chat or, or any other place where they think someone might click it or they've got it's pre filled. This won't stop someone deleting it. Someone could easily delete it and change it, but if they're honest, they'll use your link and they'll say, Well, he referred me, so I'll he he can get the credit for me joining so if we create a new user called test user one or just i don't know gonna bob one or bob and their password can be bob as well good old bob is going to join using thingy's link test user's link sorry so register an account there you go bob's registered so your membership id is six so bob can log in log into your account and there you go bob's got his own referral link surprise surprise so he can give that to someone as well now so if we look at the database let's actually look what's happened with the users bob has a username that's the one we registered, but his refer is called test user. So there you go. That's your referral script. Hope you like it. It works as it should. If you have any questions, comments, um, please comment in the section below and I'll reply, let you know um, and give any help. Please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. And thanks for watching.